What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to be using the Instagram Graph API to get insights on my user account and my posts. I'm going to create myself a web page to display out my user info. Under my user info, I'm going to display the insights that I've gotten back. Follower count, impressions, profile views, and reach. On my media object, my post, I'm going to display the insights right underneath the post. Engagement, impressions, reach, saved, and video views. This is what we can get back using the insights endpoint on the Instagram Graph API. Now, before I start coding, I'm going to continue to use my Instagram underscore graph underscore API repository. If you guys don't have the code, go to github.com slash jstolpe and download the code. I will also put a link in the description. So I'm going to copy my hashtags file and I'm going to name it insights. Now I have my insights.php file opened in Sublime Text. I'm also going to open up the comments and replies file and business discovery file. These files have some code already written for viewing my media object and viewing my user info. The first thing I want to do is I want to copy over my media object array from my comments and replies. This media object is a hard-coded media object of one of my posts. So now I have my media object, my function, and we've included our defines file, which has things like our access token, our user account ID, and so on. I'm going to come down here right below my function where we're going to start coding for this video. First thing we're going to do is define our endpoints that we're going to be using. The first endpoint is the media object endpoint. For this endpoint, we hit the base URL. After the base URL, we have to pass along a media object ID slash insights. Then we specify what we want to get back for the insights. I'm asking for the engagement, the impressions, the reach, saved, and the video views for the media. The next endpoint is our user insights endpoint. This endpoint requires a user ID right after the base URL slash insights. We specify the metric again, and the metrics are a little different for the user account. I'm specifying the follower count, the impressions, the profile views, the reach, and the period is set to date. Now we can go ahead and build these endpoints and hit them using our make API call function. I'm going to copy one of these from my previous video, but this time we're going to be getting media insights. The first thing we do is we create our endpoint. Our endpoint is the base URL and IG media ID. Right after the base here, we're going to call our media object ID. So we're going to pass along this ID to get the insights on it. And then we do slash insights. That is our endpoint, everything up to the question mark. Now we can specify our params. For this endpoint, there is the metric parameter and the access token parameter. The metric parameter is just a string of these comma separated values along with the access token. Now we can make our API call. Once again, we specify our endpoint, endpoint base, the ID slash insights. We will need a slash in there or we're going to get an error. Then we specify the parameters for this endpoint, our metric and our access token. Then we go to our browser and we hit our insights.php file. And if everything is correct, we see a list of insights, engagement, impressions, reach, saved and video views. All the things that we requested are now coming back to us in an array. Now we do the same thing for our user insights endpoint. The parameters for the user insight endpoint are the IG user ID. So from our defines file, we can paste our Instagram account ID and we're still going with slash insights for the endpoint. The metrics are a little different this time. We're gonna copy this string and paste that right here in the metric. Then we have a period parameter, and for our call, we're going to specify a period of a day. Then our access token, and now we're all set to make our API call. Print out the user insights. This will verify we have everything correct for our user insights endpoint. And we get back our array. Looks like everything's working. Follower count, the values for the days, profile views, reach, and our insights for our user have been returned. The last call that I want to make is to get my user info. And to do this, I'm just going to copy what I had from my business discovery tutorial. For that video, we got back all of the user's info, username, website, name, profile picture, biography, follower account, and so on. If you guys want a more in-depth explanation of that, go check out my Instagram graph API with business discovery. Our endpoint format is here, which is just endpoint, and then we pass along our user ID. Then we need our parameters. There's our parameters, and then we can make our API call. So I have my user info endpoint format. Then I can create the endpoint based off of that format. Once the endpoint has been set up, I can create the parameters for this endpoint right here. Everything after the question mark. So we do the 
fields, business discovery for the user, and I have to specify my username. Then we pass along the access token like we do for every call, make our API call, get our user info, and dump it out on the page. Now I can refresh the page, and I should see my user info come back. Perfect. Got my username, website name, profile picture URL, biography, follower count, followers count, media count, and my media. Now we have all the information we need to create our website. We can get rid of this, and we can get rid of all the rest of the old stuff from the previous hashtag video. I'm also going to delete all of the HTML. Now we are set to write HTML to style up our website and display this info to the user. I'm going to head over to my comments and replies file, and I'm going to copy the HTML from here and paste it in my insights.php file. We'll start by renaming the title of our page. Next, I'm going to start with the user info. Since we use the user info from the business discovery file, we can also copy the HTML from that file. This block right here displays out my user information on the page. I'm going to update my variable inside of this block to the variable I defined here, which was user info. Now we're going to see my username, media account, followers count, and follower count, along with my image, profile image right here. Under my user info is where we're going to display out the user insights. For this, we're going to use a list. Here we're going to be looping over our user insights variable, which has a list of all of our insights. Inside of our user insights variable, there is an array called data. This data array holds each of the insights, their title, their values, and all that good stuff. For each list item here, I have displayed out the title of the insight. Then I am looping over the values and displaying the value and the date for the value. When you hit the endpoint for insights, you can specify a range. If you don't specify the range at all, I believe it returns you back the past two days. That's what it defaults to. That's why we're going to see a couple days here for the user insights. Now it's time to move on to the media object. Under our user, we're going to display the media object. And for this, we're going to use the block that we created right here from our comments and replies file. Here, we see our media object URL, and we see our caption for the media object from this hard-coded object right here that I created. Under the media, we want to display the media object insights. And again, for this, we're going to use a list. We can use the same list that we used right here. copy and paste that and all we have to do is change our variable to point at the media insights. So instead of user insights we're going to loop over the media insights data. For each of the insights for the media we're going to see the title again and the values just like we did in the users insights. After we have displayed out the insights we're going to display out the actual endpoints that we hit and the data in some text areas. After that can delete the rest of the code from our old file. Refreshing our page, we now see the info we got back in all those arrays styled up with HTML. Here's my user info section. I have my user info, my user name, picture, post followers, and how many people I'm following. Under that, we display the insights for the user. Here's where we see our counts, our impressions, our profile views, and our reach. After the user section, we come to the media section. For this post here, a video, we display out the media object insights. We get the engagement, the impressions, reach, saved, and the video views. Down at the bottom of our page, we're dumping out the endpoints that we hit to get this data. First one, the get media insights endpoint. Here's the endpoint format, and here's the raw response from Instagram dumped into a PHP array. The next endpoint was the user insights endpoint. Here's the format we used. And here's the raw response that we got back from the Instagram Graph API. And that is how we use the Instagram Graph API to get insights into our user accounts and the posts. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.